Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Star Wars Outer Rim and the Unfinished Business Expansion. This is a game of just adventuring really, traveling around the galaxy, delivering cargo, hunting bounties, having encounters, all sorts of stuff in a race to get fame. First to 10 wins and there is a great solo mode that was improved with the expansion. There's a few cards direct an AI opponent and they've now all got cards based on their personalities. So I am going to be Chewbacca versus Cad Bane, a bounty hunter who starts with two fame. Before we get started I recommend you turn on your subtitles to the Klingon channel. If I've made any mistakes they'll be corrected there and if you'd like to support the channel then there are links to Patreon and Kofi in the description. Your support will be massively appreciated and it's how I'm able to make any of this stuff. We are the first player that's why we've got 4,000 credits to start off with and the player aid basically has most of the things that you need to know. It got upgraded in the expansion. The original player aid though still gives you some information about ways to get fame, how to do skill tests, stuff like that. So first we have the planning step and you've got three options. You can either move up to your ship's movement speed. So we start off with the choice of either a G9 rigger. It can move more, but it's not as good at fighting or what a bounty hunter will go for which is a G1A Starfighter. Now, Bounty Hunters being AI opponents is new to the expansion as well. There were Bounty Hunters in the base game, but you couldn't choose one of those in the solo mode. There are also rules to play the solo mode against multiple AIs, but for space reasons, as well as just kind of being concise, I'm just playing against one in this game. There are also ambitions that you can play with, where as well as just racing to 10 points, you need to achieve certain goals to be able to win. That's compatible with the solo mode as well. I'm just playing kind of basic for now though. So I can either move up to my ship's movement, which is six. I can gain 2000 credits, or I can recover all the damage from my character and my ship. If you are defeated, so you've got full damage, then you have to do that. We haven't though. We start our game on the Ring of Kafreen over here. And normally of course the game does come with uh, little stands for your standees. But for bird's eye purposes, we're looking down. Now starting location was determined by this card that I got. It tells us on the Chewbacca card that you get setup card 91. There are four card 91s in this data bank and you'll be asked to pull from this when you do various jobs, encounter certain characters. But at the start of the game, I got one of the card 91s, which was this luxury wares cargo. So we start the game in this G9 rigger with some luxury wares on board. Their destination is Nalhutter, and we will get 5,000 credits for delivering them there. This card also told me where to start. So I think then we could just stay here and get 2,000 but we might as well make a move over to this planet. So the galaxy is made up of planets and these waypoints, these yellow dots. Moving to one is a movement. So I've got six spaces that I can move to. My fastest route to Nal Hutter is I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces away. So not possible this turn, but we might as well try and get closer to it. What if I move myself one, two, three, four to Ryloth. Could go to Tatooine actually, but yeah, we can make it anywhere afterwards. Then we go to the action step. All the stuff that you've got that has the word action on it, you can do now. You can deliver cargo and bounties, as many as you've got and want to. But you can also do a market action. So having a look at the market display up here, there are six decks that loosely have a certain thing. So cargo or gear or bounties they tend to have different things in. So even though these are from different decks, these are both gear cards. So this is the luxury deck, so you'll find nicer things in there. In the market action, you can discard up to two cards from one of the decks, and then after that, you can buy any one of the cards that's now on top. So I could upgrade my ship, I could get some different gear, I could take some cargo, which in this case is a rebel traitor. I've got to deliver that to an Imperial patrol. I could get a job, uh, going to Naboo and trying to do a job there. Or I could pick up a bounty to try and locate and capture or eliminate a target. I think I'd like a job. So the Jewel of Yavin over here, we can see different keywords up at the top. Knowledge, tactics, influence, stealth, and tech. They're things that you'll probably be asked to test when you go on this job. And looking at Chewbacca, I've got piloting, strength, and tech. You can still try jobs. It's going to be tougher but you can still succeed at jobs you don't have the skills for. But since I can discard some things, I'm gonna discard. Now there's no discard piles in this game. Everything just goes to the bottom of the deck. 
and I can have a look at the next one. So I could just grab some crew instead. It costs me a thousand credits. I could get some hired help. Before you perform a skill test, you can gain a skill of your choice for that test to help you with it. If you pass the test, discard this crew. Then we'll go one further. So a temporary crew that could help you out with anything, but let's have a look. Okay, well, the other one is hired help. So we don't have to buy that. We can still go for something else. And you can see slots that I've got for things. So the cargo there, maybe it is tempting to transport a rebel traitor to the Imperials, but I've got no space in my cargo for that. I would have to jettison something. I've got space for a mod, a crew, two gear, and two jobs or bounties. Now I've only got 4,000 credits at the start of the game, so I think I am gonna go for that hired help because I haven't really got another choice at the moment. So after you've bought something, you reveal the top card and there might be some information on the card that you reveal. So a new mission's been revealed, but there is also this symbol here. Now this relates to one of the factions in the game. You can see the rebels there. This is the symbol for the syndicate. All of the factions in the game have got a patrol at the edges of the rim at the start of the game. So we've got the syndicate symbol and a three. That means that the syndicate patrol, both the patrols start the game on this space on this side and this space on the other side. It's a bit different for the base game. Well, the concept's basically the same. They are going to move three spaces towards me the shortest distance. So one, two, three. You can encounter them and fight them for rewards, money initially. If you get a negative reputation with their faction, I'm completely neutral at the moment, but if I get a negative reputation, I have to fight their patrol if I'm in their space. You can also trade cards with a player in your space in the action step, but in solo, that's never going to come up. So finally, we have the encounter step, and you can either fight a patrol for your encounter. You have to if you've got negative reputation with them. You can resolve an encounter card, which is draw a card based on where you are. There are various decks in the game for the planets near you. So I would be drawing from the Ryloth Naboo deck and you can get an idea of what your encounter might be. So for being on a Ryloth, I might be buying ships or selling something, or I can resolve a contact token. So there are three contacts on Ryloth. The levels kind of indicate the difficulties. So you see the green is two, the yellow is three, the orange is four, they're new for the expansion. Uh, the one is white, but they're not on Ryloth. I can encounter any one of these. They can be face up later on once other people have kind of revealed them. But at the start, it's a complete mystery who these people are. You might be hunting them down for bounties, wanting to defeat them. You might just be wanting to get crew for your ship. I think there isn't a nice easy one at the start here, but... I don't know that I particularly want to sell anything or buy ships. I think I'm going to encounter a contact token. So I can choose one to reveal an encounter is my turn. So I'm going to turn up this green one for the lowest level. So I have encountered Hondo Onaka. The number here tells me which card I need from the databank. So I need number 14. And so our encounter with Hondo. Haha, -ha, my friend, with my brains and your capital, why, we will both be rich. You may spend 3,000 credits, which is actually all I've got, to gain the crew below and discard Hondo Onaka's token. So having Hondo on board will increase the reward on each of your cargo by 2,000 credits and will also give me the influence skill. So it'll help me do more things. I think, yep, yeah, let's pour all of our money into this. In fact, as soon as we deliver our first thing, he's almost paid for himself. I've only got one crew slot though. Okay, in my keenness to show things off. Been a bit wasteful there with a thousand credits, basically. <laughs> Shouldn't have taken on that hired help. Oh, well, we've seen some stuff, haven't we? And hey, we might have failed a different encounter. We're just lucky that Hondo didn't need us to do any tests, just wanted to see the cash. That's our turn done, so we can go over to CAD and we look at the, the special Bounty Hunter deck for this. So there are five cards in this deck, as well as CAD's specific card. So we turn over this and it's going to basically describe his turn for us. So first of all, he has a planning step as well. We do the first thing that applies. Is he defeated? No. He moves towards a bounty target. This is his bounty target, Dr. Everzan. Now, unfortunately for Cad, he doesn't know where the good doctor is. So he treats all of the white contact tokens, because that's what the doctor is. He treats those as his target. It could potentially be the doctor. So there are lots of face down white contact tokens. He's going to go to the closest one. He can move five thanks to his ship. So he doesn't need to. He can just go to the ring of Kafrin over here and he is with a potential target. There's danger looming. So he's done something. We don't do anything else in this bit. In the action step, it's different. We don't just do the first thing, we do everything that applies. So first of all, if all of his bounty slots are full, 
They're not. If they aren't all full, reveal cards from the bounty market deck until a bounty that matches a character crew or face-up contact is revealed. Oh dear. Well, in terms of, we discard this token when I gain the crew. So in terms of face-up things, there is Hondo or there is me. So this is a bit of a turn up. Early game, we might have to switch to defensive maneuvers because Cad is going to be coming after us. So we search through this deck until we get the first one. It's not Han that applies to us. And there I am. Chewbacca, he's coming for us. So he gains the Chewbacca bounty and we reveal a new card that tells us to reveal a token that's here. So he'll if it's a one to four play game, he reveals a token. He reveals the lowest kind of token. It is not his target. This is W1 LE. Uh, the Revel Patrol moves four spaces towards him. One, two, three, four. And we carry on. And so the last thing, the encounter step. Do the first that applies. If a negative reputation matching a patrol in this space, encounter that patrol. No, he hasn't got a negative reputation with anyone just yet. Encounter a bounty target character, crew, or contact in this space. Well, I don't think he will anymore because his revealing that revealed the contact token. He knows that's not his bounty, so he's not interested anymore. I'm not on his planet, so he can't encounter me. So that's the end of his turn. Sometimes the bot doesn't do anything. The last thing that you do is pop the card on the bottom of the deck, because like all of the other decks, there is no discard pile. When he resolves his specific card, he will shuffle that deck. So it's back to us, and we might want to clear off a bit, which is no problem, because I did want to be a bit further away anyway. We want to go to Nal Hutter, don't we, and get something delivered. So I am going to move one, two, three, four spaces. In the action step, we can deliver our luxury wares. Their destination is Nal Hutter. So we get 5,000 plus the two from Hondo. We've made our first delivery of the game and we have 7,000 credits. A market action, I would like some new cargo. So there is a job out here, rescue from the mines. So we want to go to Kessel to do that. Well, it's knowledge, stealth and strength. I think in italic, that means you could fail if you fail the strength check, you could fail the whole mission. We do have strength. Now the missions can get you some money, but some fame as well, which is the, the point, it's what we need. It's what we need to win. We could try and go for some more cargo, or maybe since now we know we're hunted, maybe we just want to get some defensive things. We can't afford to upgrade our ship. That's 15,000 credits. It's a long way to Kessel. It is quite a nice reward. I think we might try and get a different job. So let's discard that. We could get Relic of the Past. We want to go to Mon Calamari, which is, oh, that's one, two, three, four, five spaces away. We need Knowledge, Stealth and Tactics. We do not have any of those things. Okay, so likely we would fail that. It is close. So I'm going to discard once more. Infiltrate the white worms in the trailing core. So all the way down here. We do get two fames for doing this. So influence, we've got. Stealth, we haven't. Strength and tactics. 50-50-ish. I want to upgrade the ship so we can get more crew. We need money for that. Okay, I'm worried about combat. I'm going to buy this wrist rocket. It's 5,000 credits. So I don't know why I paid four. After you roll dice during combat, you can rotate this card to add two hits. I'm just worried that I'm being hunted down now. And a targeting computer comes up, tells us the rebel ship is moving one, two, three spaces towards us. But we haven't got a mission or any way of getting fame or money or anything. We still have the encounter step. I think it would be silly to encounter someone and potentially get crew when we haven't got space for them. So let's have an encounter card. So at Nal Hutter, it could be credits or bounties. I'm hoping for credits, I think. Although we are a bit better at combat now, we might be able to capture a bounty. So on Nal Hutter, do we have positive hut reputation? No, we've got neutral. A small fortune was recently stolen from a hut rival. You could take credit for it, but they'll never believe you pulled it off alone. You may gain a hut reputation. If you do, choose another player to gain a hut reputation. Well, that's okay, actually, because Cad's... Hut reputation is already positive, so there's no downside of that for me. So yeah, we'll, we'll both gain a hut reputation. And I think that's my turn. Cad is going to flip his card. And what's going on? He's not defeated. He's going to move towards a bounty target. Face up ones take priority. He's going to move towards me. One, two, three, four, five spaces. In his action step, buy a bounty even if he's on a nav point. He's unable to because he's already got two bounties. He's got no slots for any. If unable and on a planet, he would get some card. He would discard the top card of the cargo deck and gain 4,000. He's not on a planet. 
Encounter step. He's not got a patrol. He can't encounter anyone. Can he spend 8,000 credits to gain a fame? No, he's got six. He is going to gain a reputation with this planet's faction. Again, he gets to do nothing. But, yeah, he's... Uh, he can get to me next turn. Maybe we need to clear off because we can move faster than him. Yes, I'm not going to stay here and get 2,000. We're going to move one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, being on Mon Calamari wouldn't be bad. So this red space here is the Maelstrom. If you go on there, you have to stop. But there is a special encounter that you can have there. Might get you an additional turn. It's the quick way of getting to Kessel, but there's a risk that you might find yourself just held up at Maelstrom. So we're on Mon Calamari. Kind of wish I'd taken that mission now that we, we probably would have failed it, but hey, we would have been missioning. So in the market at Mon Calamari, I am going to discard some cargo. Yeah, I want to try and find some attractive cargo. I don't want any Imperial stuff. Okay, we could transport an Imperial defector to the Rebel Patrol, which is on our space. It is illegal cargo, so to buy it, roll a die on a hit get this, otherwise resolve card 95. So I think that's pretty amazing. Look, I am going to take charge of the Imperial Defector and just call that Rebel Patrol that is on our space because it's still the action step. You can do any or all of these things, deliver cargo and bounties. We need to roll a die to see if we can take uh, this cargo though. So the dice have got blanks, hits. Is that patrol? They've got eyeballs and they've got uh, crits. So we only, succeed, we only succeed on getting this cargo on a hit. And we get a hit. That's quite nice. Otherwise, we would have had a, a little encounter and maybe something would have happened. But we just get the Imperial Defector. And yeah, the Royal Patrol is right there. We gain 7,000 because of Hondo's bonus that he's given us still. So we are back up to 9,000 credits. And a fame, our first fame. We're still trailing because Cal started off with two. And a rebel reputation. So... Two of the factions in the galaxy are pleased with us, and it hasn't annoyed the Imperials just yet. So that is gone and delivered, and we haven't even revealed what's on top anymore. So what's on top now is not a patrol moving, but someone that wants to go to the Spinwood Core. They want to go to Coruscant. Uh, there we have to reveal something. I think I will reveal. I will reveal the green one. Who's that? Greedo. Okay, none of this was our encounter. So I can have an encounter with someone, still haven't bought a ship and got an extra crew slot. If we have an encounter here, we might get jobs or movement. I think we'll have an encounter. Let's see what's happening here. The Empire is on the move and we want to know what they're up to, the Mon Calamari says. You may gain the job below. So this job is long-range surveillance. We need to go to the Imperial Patrol, who haven't moved just yet. They're still all the way over here. But these new spaces, these... Uh, outer worlds here that you can as an encounter kind of fly over to the other side of the galaxy so it was all, is all connected up with that i'm rubbish at stealth i test stealth if i pass complete the job if you fail you suffer your ship suffers three damage no i don't think we can take the job i think it would be a waste until we get a way of doing some stealth so that's unfortunate cad is gonna reveal a card and it's his special one so first of all he can move towards a bounty target when a character is his bounty that's his top priority above all else so i think he's just going to chase me down this might help actually if we can just lead him on a wild goose chase for a long time one two three four now there is a little thing of if they end their movements on a nav point space which they would do, they would just go just past the planet. If they would end their movements on a nav point space after moving their whole movement, they'll move one or two fewer if it can get them to a planet instead. So I think he's going to stop off here rather than just not doing anything ever. So then he... Does he have at least one fame and less than 20,000? Yes. He loses a fame and gains 10,000 credits. That's the big long one. Uh, then he buys a ship. And if he's unable to, he buys uh, some gear. The ship that's available is an aggressor class assault fighter costing 15,000. You can barter with your ship or when you're buying anything, essentially. Uh, you can get a discount by turning things in. Your initial ship, though, costs zero, so there's no discount. It costs him 15,000 credits. It tells you the stats that the ship will have, but this card is removed from the game. And then he gets the aggressor class assault fighter, so can move more, got much more combat. I do not want to get into space combat with him at all. If we do have to fight him, I want it to be on a planet. So the encounter step, he's not on a space with a patrol. Encounter a bounty target on this space. There is a white 
token on this space, so I think he would do that. So let's encounter this character. It is Garendon, it is not the Doctor. And then finally discard the top card of these decks and shuffle this AI card back into the AI deck. And another ship becomes available. It is a YV666 Light Freighter. Okay, I think I'm going to keep running off. There is a passenger that wants to go to the Spinwood Core. So I think let's make our way there and pick up that passenger from some market on the way. So there is a job for Ord Mantell that wants influence. I do have a bit of influence. Yeah, and then we could pick up the passenger there if he isn't doesn't gain on us too much. He does move six now. Harder to outrun him. Yeah, let's move somewhere. So I'm going to move one, two, three. It doesn't say we can't gain this job at Ord Mantell. So let's just do, we could do it this turn. We wouldn't have a different encounter. Normally it says you can't gain this if you're already there. But this doesn't, so let's do that. So we'll gain this job as the market step, which tells us an influential hut is angry that someone's encroaching on her territory and wants you to find out who is responsible. Destination Ord Mantel. So for our encounter phase, we can test influence. So the way that tests work in this game for your skills, you roll two dice and it depends on whether you are unskilled, skilled or highly skilled. So for influence, I am skilled. I have the skill. A hit or a crit would be fine. Highly skilled, if you've got the skill more than once, any symbol is fine. If you're unskilled, you haven't got the skill at all, only a crit will work. So we just need a hit or a crit on two dice, and we get a hit. Brilliant. So we complete the job by passing. Gain 5,000 credits. So we've now got you know, 14, nearly a four to ship, and one hut reputation. If you already had positive hut reputation, lose a syndicate reputation, and gain a fame. Then discard this card. So we have now got two fame. That was our encounter though, so we need to move on to Cad, who is probably still hunting us. He's not defeated, he moves towards a bounty target. Six spaces now, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, if he can just move one shorter, he'll just stop on the planet, won't he? The action step. His bounty slots are full, so he discards the highest class bounty that does not match a character crew or face-up contact. So he will not give up looking for us. So the doctor's gone, and then they're not all full, so he reveals cards until he finds a character crew or face-up contact. So the face-up contacts are Greedo Garandon or W1LE. And it's Garandon. And so oh, he needs to re reveal a contact token. He reveals the lowest one. And then the Syndicate Patrol's moving on. That's not great for me because the Syndicate don't like me. I would have to fight them if they eventually come around. So he's going to be looking for Garandon after he's dealt with me. And then in the encounter step, he's not on a negative reputation patrol. Can he encounter a bounty target in his space? No, he can't. Oh no, that was the Huts. It's the Syndicate that don't like me and they're right here. Okay, I think we're going to stay where we are and try and get something to help in the fight because I think he's going to come over to us next time. Okay, let's discard this Ion Cannon which will help with ship combat. My other thing helps me in ground combat. So if we're on a planet, we'll have ground combat. Let's have a look. We could gain plus two fight for this combat. That is, again, putting us further away from upgrading the ship. But it would be really nice to win this and get him off our backs and have him not gain a bounty, and then maybe we're going to have to pivot to bounty hunting. There's some more gear. That's most of my money spent again. And then we reveal some concussion missiles. So the hut ship moves four towards me. One, two, three, four. And flip over something if this is a one or two player game. It is. Let's not flip over the token that will reveal the person he's after. K250. Okay, encounter in this space, Ord Mantell, it could be gear or credits. You discover a rebel transport, the Freedom Fighter, resupplying on this planet. You may lose a rebel reputation to gain 2,000 credits and an imperial reputation. Mm, I would like some money. But no, we're not going to do that. Happy with my positives at the moment. Although, it would just swap, wouldn't it? They would be neutral, imperial would be happy. There's no one nearby at the moment. Okay, that's the encounter sorted. For Cad's turn, he is going to move towards a bounty target. Six spaces. One, two, three. And there he is on the planet with me. He buys a bounty. He can't because he's full. If unable and on a planet, discard the top card of the cargo deck and gain 4,000 credits. Okay, so he just discards. Oh, the passenger we were after. Frustrating. Oh, well, we, we could have picked up that passenger. We bought a grenade launcher instead. Hope it helps. And then there isn't a negative reputation patrol. Encounter a bounty target. So since he is encountering me, this is an opposed bounty. And we're going to have to have some combat. 
So since we're on a planet, it's going to be ground combat. Looking at my character, you can see that Chewie has got three combat, plus two with the grenade launcher. So we're going to be rolling five dice for our combat. Hits are one, crits are two. We want to have the most, basically. So let's see what we can get. We'll get at least two hits. The most wins the fight, basically. So I've got three there, and then I can rotate my wrist rockets to get five hits. So later on in a future turn, I could spend an action and a thousand uh, credits to get that card back. So I have got five hits, but nothing else that helps me with any of these skills. I have got plus two hull on the ship, plus two health for the ship, basically. So five hits. Looking over at Cad, his combat is three. He's got nothing that helps him in any way. So I think, well, crits could still get it for him, couldn't it? Uh, he actually rolls nothing. So he has to take the five damage. He's only got four health, so he's going to have to skip his next turn. I'm annoyed that I've had to waste time not getting my beautiful ship. There's a Millennium Falcon waited in that deck somewhere. So since I won the combat, he discards the bounty card he had for me. And I get nothing, basically. But I have wasted his time. He isn't going to get... He would have got 5,000 credits and a fame for defeating me. That's different because it's a character. If he gets a bounty that's on one of his cards, he follows the instructions on the card. But that is great for us, I think. So combat down. These stolen supplies want to go to Kessel. One, two, three, four, five... It's not a million miles away, is it? Some good money in that. A mission on Takadana. Some decent money and some fame. Shall we stay where we are? Which, if you want to deliver that to Kessel... I was thinking stay where I am and get 2,000 credits. But I now think... What if we move closer to Kessel and further away from the ship that doesn't like me? Let's go for it. Illegal goods. So you cannot buy this on Kessel. It cost me 2,000. Uh, to deliver it, we've got to roll a die. And if we get a hit, then we deliver it, no problem. Otherwise, we've got to have an encounter. But we could get 9,000 credits and a fame for doing that. Back in the big time. Uh, an encounter on Mon Calamari could be a job, could be some movement. If you have positive rebel reputation, brilliant. We've got a supply ship leaving in a few hours if you want a lift, says the captain of a Mon Calamari cruiser you rendezvous with in orbit. You may move directly to any planet within five spaces, ignoring patrols and the maelstrom. So I would still have to spend my next turn doing it, but we can just go to Kessel. One, two, three, four, ignoring the maelstrom. Brilliant. Pays to have some positive rebel reputation and next turn we can just wait here get our 2000 and then hopefully deliver our illegal goods cad has been defeated he recovers all of his damage his bounty slots are not full so he buys a bounty even if it's at a nav point the available bounty is for Jin ursa a toughie and a new one comes out that is going to move the hut ship for spaces one two three four towards him the shortest route and then he has to reveal something when he has to reveal the lowest thing which could be no who he's looking for is there isn't it he just wasn't able to move towards them because he got defeated uh, so yeah he's looking for Jin Urso who has not been found just yet then he's not got a patrol there he can't encounter a bounty target he knows nobody's there oh no he, he can can't he because there is an orange token on his space this could be his target it's not it's IG-88 so no luck this time. And then special, if not all crew slots are full, gain the crew that matches the face-up contact of the lowest class on this planet for free. Uh, that would be the Black Sun Agent. So he gains that crew card, which I don't think does anything for him. Maybe it's made him feel better though. We do have a personal goal, by the way. I want to gain two crew from orange contacts and I'll get a point for that and get my special uber ability some re-rolling of dice if i'm willing to take some damage i've normally got more crew slots <laughs> at this point though we have barely earned any fame really have we okay we're on kessel and we need to reveal something for that because that got dis oh i gained it didn't i good job nothing moved because i didn't do it okay we're staying here and getting 2000 credits in the market phase we could get a mod that could hold a cargo Ooh, and we could put our illegal cargo in the slot so this would cost 2000 when you are rolling a die to deliver illegal cargo, you can treat a blank result as a hit. You have to deliver it, no questions asked. Or we could get a mission for somewhere else, or some cargo for somewhere else. Let's try and get some more cargo. So we are risking this a little bit. Smuggling compartment might help with our activities so far. We're going to discard it. And what have we got? Droid parts. So they want to go to Ord Mantel, which is where we just came from. 
5,000 and a syndicate reputation, and they hate us at the moment. Let's get some droid parts. Might take us a while to get through the, ma the maelstrom, though. Or whatever's underneath this. Sruiting out spies isn't the best for us. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it and regret it. Cantonica, where is that? Okay, not much further away. It's going to be a couple of turns, but yeah, we could go there. It's some illegal goods. Oh, we've got no... Oh, buying the mod would have given us another cargo slot there. Okay. I see the problem with my plan. Oh, why not deliver this first then? Oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's roll a die then to see if we can deliver these illegal stolen supplies. And we did not roll a hit. So we're going to have to resolve a card number one. There are a few different ones. So I'll give them a quick shuffle and see what's happening to us. This is our first kind of... It's not exactly like a job. If you have negative reputation with a patrol on your space, there's not a patrol on our space, end your action step. Otherwise, resolve the section below that matches the result you rolled. Blank. Test piloting. I don't know, fly casual. Chewbacca has got piloting, so roll two dice, and we just need a hit or a crit on one of these. Otherwise, we've got to lose a reputation and end our turn without an encounter or anything. Security's caught us. We did get a hit, though. That's a relief. Okay, so we deliver the cargo. So that's 9,000 credits, thanks to Hondo's bonus. And a fame. So it is illegal cargo. We're getting infamous as uh, illegal smugglers. So yeah, if I'd remember to do that before the market step... We don't have to end our turn because we succeeded, and then I can gain these illegal Cantonica goods. There we go. And so there's some stolen hyperfuel is coming up next. Just tons of illegal goods. The rebels need to move three towards me. One, two, three. The rebels like me, though. We'll have to get through the maelstrom, but hey, maybe that's okay. So I think... Oh, we still got an encounter as well, because we didn't have to end our turn. So we are on Kessel. This could be illegal cargo or fame for reputation. The Pikes discovered this Snivian has been skimming from them. Now he's desperate to disappear. You may lose a syndicate reputation to gain this cargo, some illegal cargo on the Spinwood core. Would have been nice, but uh, we, we can't lose a syndicate reputation to do that. So I think we're going to have to refuse the cargo, pretending to be all noble. Uh, but we do gain a syndicate reputation for doing that. So it's not been a waste. Just going to have to look the other way on this one. And yeah, we've got, we've got three fame. We're on the way. And I think that's where we're going to leave Chewie's story for this episode. We've evaded a bounty hunter. We've smuggled a lot of illegal goods. And although fame is the name of the game, I want that falcon. Will we get it? Find out next time in Outer Rim. Thank you so much for watching. In the meantime, there are hundreds of playthroughs on this channel. I hope you'll find another one that you're interested in and you can subscribe and you can support the channel in ways that are in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next game. Bye everyone.